right, we've been getting deep into limits, and I have a limit on the board. And I am going to do video 10, which is just going to be examples. But we're going to spend some time on this function and this limit today. So make sure we understand, because often students just try to do the procedure, and they're not looking for the understanding. So I started with the function x squared minus 4 over x minus 2. It's a rational function, and if you graph it on your TI calculator, it looks like that. But your calculator lies. Because if you think of the function, and I'll factor it here, you should immediately see that there is a vertical pole here because of the cancellation, or an undefined portion. X cannot equal 2, but you look at the graph over here, and it sure looks like it could equal 2. So I'm going to help make it not lie, and I'm going to put an open circle there. I can get my board to do what I want at 2. Now, the whole point of a limit is asking as the left hand comes in and the right hand comes in from the positive side, do they come to the same point? And in this case, they certainly do. And you can tell from this graph up here, I think, that they come in at the point 2 comma 4. But you must realize that f of 2 does not equal 4. Because the function is not defined. The domain of this function is simply x is an element of real, x cannot be equal to 2. And from the graph, we can tell and I often tell students finding the range is often very difficult. But the limit can help us find ranges. That's a big point of what's going on in calculus here. We can tell from the graph that y is an element of real. Y can't be equal to 4. That is the whole point of this. And every time we have limits, we want to try direct substitution first, see if the bottom, if you, if you can evaluate at the point you can't here because the denominator is zero. Then we want to factor first with what you did here. Then we're going to go into conjugates. Then we're going to check the graph. There's a lot of steps when we do these limits. But the whole point of the exercise is simply to find these points. Now I do agree procedurally there's a procedure here. And most students are trying to memorize it. But you really got to get away from that. You got to try to understand what's happening. When I do this yeah, I can cancel those binomials, and we can see that when we plug 2 in here, 2 plus 2 is 4. So there is a limit. Does the value f of 2 exist? No. This is undefined. It's an undie. It is not part of the domain. And that is the most important part if we move forward on our functions here. That and remembering that calculators lie. We must be prepared to deal with limits from a standpoint of understanding the function that they're asking us. Not just trying to memorize, factor first, conjugate, check the graph. While those are helpful points on the exam, they don't lead to better understanding of calculus. Keep practicing.